Hi. My husband, David, and I moved here from uh, Chicago. Uh, David is a veteran of the U.S. Air Force. He served 25 years ago, and about five years ago, he started experiencing, sorry, I'm getting emotional, uh, really uh, complex symptoms of PTSD. Uh, getting even the help that we need and, and how, to, how to navigate around it. As president, and somebody that obviously has been in the military, what are you going to do to provide and fix the VA system? Because it is a broken system and it needs help. They deserve as much help as they can. Thank you for sticking up for your husband. Thank you for serving. Thank you also for naming what's going on. Part of the problem with mental health parity in this country. Part of the problem with it taking longer than it should have for us to properly address PTS is people hesitating to talk about it. And I know there's some measure of courage, even today, required to bring that up, so thank you for that too. Different wars have different wounds. One of the reasons the world knows as much as it does about traumatic brain injury and PTS is because of the VA. We just don't have the resources and the commitment to make sure that everybody's getting treated. People don't just go there hoping to be taken care of. They hope to be treated so that they can continue to contribute. And instead of talking about veterans like a problem to be taken care of, we got to talk about veterans like something we ought to be competing over. Our community is trying to attract more veterans to move to our city. And, and the last thing I just want to say, it wasn't that long ago that you couldn't say something like this. Is, um, it, it feels pretty good to me to be able to say thank you for your service and to say happy pride in the same breath. So.